Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you to create this interesting out-of-frame video effect. Here's another example of another out-of-frame video effect. So let's start out with our original video clip. This one's interesting because we're actually going to be cutting out three subjects here. And what we're going to do to create the cutout is grab our Roto Brush tool in the top menu. So I'm going to double click on my layer to open it in its own layer panel. And then the Roto Brush tool, I can adjust the brush size in the brushes menu and just begin painting in a selection of what we want to select. So this photo here, it's got a lot of bright white around the clouds and, and right here the highlights. It's hard for After Effects to distinguish that completely. So what you can do is hold Option. That'll turn your brush red and you can paint out some of these areas in between if you're having a, a trouble area like this. And you can just go back and forth a couple times to try to get it perfect. If you ever open up the layer panel and open up the rotor brush, you can actually see all the different strokes you've made. So if you ever want to delete one or see what you've added on there. So this is all gonna be dependent on your clip and how perfect the contrast is. You can see how much of an easier time After Effects had highlighting the basketball rather than like this pocket right here was a little bit more difficult. But once you're ready, you can click this freeze button and After Effects will begin to go frame by frame. Now you see when this guy jumps, there's a new pocket of selection that is created between his legs there. So I might wanna just jump to this frame where it first occurs, unfreeze the selection. And once you give After Effects time to propagate to that current frame, you can begin making updates to your rotoscope. So I can patch out this little triangle here when I press freeze now. So this can be a tedious process to get right at first, but once you do get the proper selection, you can just sit back and let it freeze through all the frames and do the hard work by hand, as opposed to masking like you would piece by piece in Premiere or something. So we see once we get to this new frame, After Effects has taken that new gap into consideration. For the sake of the tutorial, this will be a pretty good selection. So once After Effects is done freezing your selection, you do have this in the effects control panel, some options for feathering or shifting the edge a little bit if you wanted to. But once I go back to my composition window from my layer menu, you can see our cutout selection. So this was kind of interesting because I cut out three different people. But what I'm going to do is now duplicate this clip. So just Command C, Command V, we stacked it on top of itself. And on the bottom clip, I can either turn off or just delete the rotor brush so that now we have our rotor brushed image and our original background stacked on top of itself. And what we're going to do is just crop the edges of this original background. So in the effects and preset panel, there's actually a cool tool called crop edges in the utilities folder. It's kind of like a preset built in and you can just drag this onto your clip. By default, it'll automatically crop 5%. But if you go up here to the crop amount feature, you can crop it more or less. And now you get this cool out of bounds, out of border video effect, which can look cool. And this black is actually transparent. So if, if I were to add like a new solid layer of a different color in the background, then it would be a different color or if I were to add another video clip in the background, or really anything. Another idea you could do is rather than crop all the edges, you could just crop like the top and bottom or just the sides or whatever amount you want for a cool look. You could also have fun applying effects onto the, the people. So in the middle here, you can't really tell any separation, but uh, let's say I make the background black and white now we can even see a separation between the background and the people. Let's say I were to add, let's right click and add a, a layer style here. Let's add like a stroke or something. Now I can even outline my subjects or outline my selections in whatever color I want. Let's just make it white, for example. That could look cool. You could add an outer glow or a drop shadow. Or you can even add color effects or adjustments onto your layers. So 
instead of adding it onto the background, I could add it onto the people. And you could animate all of these things with keyframes or expressions as well. So I'm going to actually just delete the stroke and delete the black and white effect. I'm just working in the effects control panel. That's where you can see everything that's been happening. And the basics of this effect are just this simple out of bounds look. And for example, here is I could do something like I'll start this transition at zero. And then, you know, a couple seconds in. Let's make it wipe in like uh, 10 percent down on each crop. So what we're going to see here is a kind of twist on the the faux cinematic bar look. So my name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this video, check out more on the playlist on my channel. Subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.